Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabatu fillah I can't stress enough the importance of istighfar, seeking forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal, and making dhikr to Allah Azza wa Jal. And the Quran and the Sunnah are filled with evidences showing us the benefit, the importance the obligation to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the shakirin and the dhakirin that they will be remembered and rewarded by Allah Azza wa Jal meaning to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often in all situations praise Him and this is a protection for the mu'min and we forget this often I know that I need this reminder that often we forget that this is actually for our benefit. This is actually a part of our protection. That the more you remember Allah, the less time you'll have to do muharramat. You know, to do those things which are prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this will exercise taqwa. This will help you attain taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal. And taqwa, habitavillah, as we know, is adhering to the commandments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions that this is taqwa this is a part of taqwa this is a part of our iman by doing those things which please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and dhikr will help you achieve this and help you attain this taqwa Allah wa jal staying in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala having his name Constantly on your tongue. Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. All of this is a part of your exercising your Iman and helping you to attain Taqwa Allah and helping you to avoid those things which will take you off the Sirat Allahi Al Mustaqim. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to make seek forgiveness more than 70 times a day he would make Tawbah to Allah Azza wa Jal and he was the Prophet Alayhi Salatu Wasallam what about us and all of our sins all of that which we commit in the day and the night. Of course, min baba ola, we're more in need of forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we're more in need of making dhikr to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because of our sins. And as a protection, that's why those books like Husn al-Muslim, you know, the fortress or fortification of the Muslim is, is, is imperative that we use that for our protection because it is a fortification. It strengthens you. It strengthens your Iman. It strengthens you and encourages you to do good deeds. And it keeps you in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it protects you and wards off evil by making dhikr knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with his servant and protect his servant that is remembering him much and that if you move towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing righteous actions and doing good then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will come closer to you he will subhanahu wa ta'ala assist you and help you and protect you 
and fortify you during the various trials of life. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to bless us to be of the Dhakirin, the Shakirin, al Sabirin, al Mu'minin, al Muhsinin, al Mutawakkilin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.